It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45. Ladies and gentlemen, man. I remember one of the first fights I ever I ever watched in its entirety was a fight with um Muhammad Ali and Ken Norton. And from that point, the first essay I ever wrote was based on the movie The Greatest, the original one with Muhammad Ali. And from that point on, I was sold. This is Yaz, by the way, Mickey. And, and I was sold. And I, I had an option growing up in Oakland to either run track, play Pop Warner football, and go into boxing. And because I had the heart of a lion, I ran track. I didn't want to do any of that contact stuff, right? I didn't want to get hit in the face. But anyway, I still continued to watch boxing. And I've always been fascinated by the science of the sport. And you, my friend, has to be one of the toughest per- people to ever step into the ring. Citizens of Sway in the morning, welcome Mickey Ward, ladies and gentlemen. Mickey Ward. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I'm opening up the phone lines right now to any, you know, boxing enthusiasts. Mickey Ward is here. You have a new book, right, called A Warrior's Heart? Right, yes. Yeah, man. Just what, come out. Just came out. What made you decide to write a book? Uh, to get my story out, you know, um... That was a book out before in the movie. Like, everything wasn't... The, I mean, the movie was great, but it wasn't exactly the way things happen. You mm-hmm. know, they Hollywoodize it or whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. But uh, it was from my perspective. And a lot of things in the book that I've never told no one that happened to me as, as you know, younger and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's in the book. So it was good to get off my chest. And uh, just let people know, like, you know, that if it, things like that happen to people, that you can be a good person in society and you can, you can move on. You can move forward, right? And we were looking... One of the things... You know anything about Mickey Ward? Like I, or Taro Gotti fights uh, that you uh, you you've had or legendary. All your fights, man, it seem like you know you have to be the toughest fights ever. Like you, <laughs> you are truly battle tested. And then when you open the book and find out that as a child, and Mickey Ward was actually you were molested, right? right? Yeah. And and how old were you? Between what ages? Like eight, seven, and eight. Seven nine, and eight. Yeah, right in that area. Yeah. Did you know it was happening as it was? Yeah, you. I mean, you really. It's funny because you really don't as you're a kid like that. You don't. It, you don't. You really don't. And it's like, uh, looking back, you don't. But as you get older, then you start. You know, you like say, what? Mm-hmm. what happened, you know what I mean? What the hell happened here? But you know, it's just an unfortunate circumstance that happened. But uh, you know, he'll meet his maker someday. Yeah, yeah. He's still you the know? guy who did. If it. If I go do something to him, then he, then he wins again. Yeah. And I lose, you know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. I, you know, we'll just take care of it some other way. Now, he was a friend of your brother, Dickie, right? Yeah, well, he was a friend of Dickie's, and uh, they really, Dickie didn't know. Dickie never knew this happened until the until the book just came out. Wow, what did he say? He was going nuts, but I said, don't do nothing, you know what I mean? Uh, you can't do nothing because you're going to be back in the in the can, you know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. and he's like, nah, he's just he's just really mad, you know, he's just going, he's flipping out by He'll be he'll be all right. He'll be all right. Yeah. Well, you're all right, man. I, I man, I you know that that must be the hardest uh, thing to you know for anyone to have to endure. Obviously, you know we were just talking about this the other day on the show. How it's a lot of um, young girls who go through this. I was talking about a friend of mine who was molested from the ages between the ages of three to ten. Right. And um and you know you never know how many people that you're around go that that go through this. I'm sure there are people listening right now that have gone through this. This isn't all that your book is about, but the fact that you you know you, you're so honest and transparent in it, I think is uh, definitely makes it a good read. Being eight or nine years old, you got some guy that's obviously violating you. What are some of the signs? Like, did he did he did he? How did he coerce you, or did he just did, did was it like a physical thing? It, what did he do? It, it was just weird. It just it's just how it happened. It was weird. You know what I mean? Being left alone, kind of. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And just like one thing after another. It's just. When you're a kid, you don't understand yeah. things that are happening, you know, and uh, it's just unfortunate. But you know, I don't understand to this day how a, a man could want to do that, you know, to, to a kid. Mm-hmm. But they're out there, and uh, if if it does happen to you, don't be ashamed of yourself and just let people know. Or, you know, it does get better, and you can move on. You can be protect. You can you can live your life good and productive. You know, what I mean, after that happens, you don't have to stay inside you your whole life and let it eat you up. Mm-hmm. Come out and just let people know and. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that it happened to, and look at me. You know, I, I'm one of them, and I did okay. Yeah, you did great, man. Mickey <laughs> Ward, man, your legacy, man, is untarnished, baby. You, you the <laughs> man, bro. For you to come out and speak about this, man, I, man, I even see you on an even higher pedestal than I already Thank put you. you on, man. It's Sway in the morning, only on Shade 45.